Hi, Alex. Hello. I wasn't sure if the connection is okay. Uh, so let's start this because I've received uh, many great questions. So I will jump right to the to those. Uh, maybe first let's start with uh, the last question I was answering in my previous chat. It was about LP Send. So uh, I prepared prepared myself this time. So she uses, uh, the brand is Diptych and she uses uh, mostly Tamdao. I don't know if, it, if you can see, but I know she loves the scent and she uses it. And recently, maybe you could uh, see her wearing the string around her neck. And it's also from uh, Diptych. You can buy it at uh, their store. It's uh, a scented string that you can wear as a bracelet or as a necklace uh, yeah so that's uh, that's her perfume okay um, LP Canada asked me if LP would like to become an actress one day uh, I think she answered this question one time before uh, you know she sometimes is an actress because uh, when she is um, perform performing in her videos uh, she has to be an actress, so uh, yeah, but I don't think she would be interested to pursue this as a, as a job and as something that she would want to, you know, to be more professional in, in it. Uh, I think Lauren is more uh, interested in this uh, than LP. <coughs> okay uh, how many times have i seen lp perform i think i have seen her um, i've been to i uh, i think to 15 concert but, I, but i'm not sure uh, if you will go to my blog there is um, mm, there is uh, a category where you can check uh, gigs i witnessed and uh, uh, you can read uh, all the gigs that i uh, that i've been to and then i uh, write about my experience and how the how those concerts were for me and where i travel how i travel who i met and etc so yeah so we, you can find this uh, find this information on, on my blog mm. uh, next question is what is lp's favorite snack food uh, i'm not sure about snack food i'm not sure if it is a snack food but i know she likes um uh, jesus i forgot uh, oh my god <laughs> I forgot. Who remembers? It's this violet. Oh my god. Eggplant. Eggplant. Yes, eggplant. Parmigiana eggplant. Yeah. Uh, I know she likes eggplant and I know she likes dishes with eggplant, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parmesan eggplant. Yes. But uh, I'm not sure if this is. Uh, this can be. Uh, A snack food I'm not sure aubergine ah, yeah. aubergine also eggplant and aubergine yeah so you see you know this already uh, okay mm, what was LP's favorite novel book when she was a teenager uh, I haven't received an answer if I will receive an answer I will let you know mm, if I could go to any holiday what country would I choose uh, and what country would I like to visit? I think, uh, I think uh, Italy. Mm, I always wanted to visit Italy. I've been, I don't know, I've been pushing it on, uh, putting it on hold and pushing it uh, back and forward. But yeah, if when this, uh, everything will be over and if there will be such possi possibility, I, I really want to visit <coughs> Italy, especially Rome, Venice. So yeah, I think Italy will be my mm, next uh, place to visit. Okay, let's check what's next. <clears throat> yeah, Olga is always giving me hard questions. <laughs> uh, being a fan is lacking a personality or is just uh, a hobby uh, of, of your own? I think we are all fans of someone, you know, I think, uh, I don't know if there is a person uh, who, 
who has never been inspired by anyone. I, I, to me, it's not about being a fan, but it's more uh, about um, being inspired by someone. So, uh, yeah, sometimes it is maybe, you know, when you try to overcome your own uh, insecurities, when you are trying to find yourself and when you are trying to, you know, uh, realize who you are as your own person, then you you are finding all those different people yeah, th that inspire you and I think LP is one of those people for me so uh, I think it's it's not a lack of personality but it's it's the, it, it is looking it's this calling that uh, that you want to know uh, better yourself and I think that at least this is for me I don't know if I explain this uh, well Mm -hmm. uh, Olga sent me several questions. Uh, do I dream about LP at night and if those are a good vibes? Uh, yeah, usually yeah, I, I sometimes dream about LP, but those are always dreams uh, that we meet at random, that we meet at a concert or after a concert or that we are walking somewhere and talking. Those are mostly those, uh, those kinds of dreams and uh, yeah. Yeah, and usually there are, those are good vibes. Uh, sometimes I'm stressed in my dream, even in my dream. <laughs> and I'm sometimes even in my dream, I'm, you know, nervous if I will say the right thing, if I will do the right thing and if she will have time for me. So, yeah. Um, mm, uh, do you know? Uh, sorry, I will be checking this questions later. Again, Olga asked me, do I share uh, with people my passion for LP? Uh, you know, I'm usually a very, um, I'm very private person. And uh, when I started, even my first blog, uh, the, the Royal blogs that I started, I was very shy about those. I, I was, I'm full of insecurities. I'm trying to uh, work on that. Um, but yeah, I, I've i kept them very private. I haven't shared them with anyone. Uh, only few, only few uh, closest people uh, knew that I write a blog, that I do a blog. And uh, with LP, it's changed because, you know, uh, I have a wider audience and my uh, friends uh, are um, more aware, even if I'm not sure, uh, you know, I'm sharing my love for, for LP and for her music and I often uh, talk about her music and I often talk about her concerns and I would love to uh, travel to a concert and to, to show LP to my family and to my friends and uh, so yeah, I talk about LP in that manner but uh, I never, you know, uh, promote myself and my blog. I usually, uh, I'm rather shy about this. Uh, so yeah, it's always a nice surprise when uh, a friend of mine or a colleague just, you know, finds it on, on their own and if... Uh, I've had this before, yeah, so that someone found my blog by an accident and uh, even just very recently uh, because of the... Uh, I'm working from home and I'm sending uh, emails to my um, parents of the pupils I teach so even one uh, mom of a pupil uh, wrote to me that uh, she found, because she found my blog, uh, uh, they made a dinner two hours late because uh, she just started to read it and uh, she was so uh, enjoying it that she, yeah, so she said I'm doing a really great job. So, so you know, so I'm, I prefer when someone finds this blog on their own and, you know, when my words and uh, what I do speaks for myself. Uh, I don't like to promote it on my own. <laughs> so, yeah, it's I prefer when someone just, you know, finds it and reach out to me and say that, yeah, that they liked it, that it was, that it is well done, that, uh, that I touched someone uh, and their heart. So, yeah, that's that's how I prefer when it is uh, happening. Another question. Sorry. Mm. Many straight fans get sexually attracted to LP because of her gender no neutrality. Is it a pro... Uh, mm, 
does it work for LP in better way or in worse way? You know, I, I don't know how to answer this question. Uh, I know that many fans are attracted to her, um, but I think it's mostly because she's a very uh, charismatic person. I think it's mostly um, because this, she has this aura about her, this charisma, and um, that's why uh, people are very easily attracted to her. Uh, yeah, advantage or disadvantage. I think it's to her advantage because, you know, uh, I don't know. I've read many different comments. I've read that, you know, straight men are saying that uh, they normally wouldn't look at a woman like LP, but she has that something about her that uh, makes uh, makes her very interesting. So, yeah, I think, I think it works to her advantage uh, in most ways. Maybe not always, but yeah, I think it works to her advantage because, you know, she has this charisma and and uh, people notice her. People, uh, she cannot go unnoticed. She she always makes some kind of impression. She may be uh, not to everyone's liking, but I I'm. I like that she doesn't care about it, that she's herself and that she doesn't care uh, how other people perceive her. So, yeah. Mm. Do you think she flirts with the audience? Yeah, I think sometimes she does. Uh, she sometimes winks at the audience or um, uh, sends kisses or hearts. And yeah, I think she flirts. But I think it's normal. Uh, many. Uh, many uh, singers, many musicians do this uh, with their audience. So yeah, I think, you know, I think it's uh, a lot harder for her to flirt with uh, her audience where it is uh, like 3,000 strong crowd. But when it is a smaller venue, I remember in, uh, in London, uh, it was a gig for, I think, 500 people, maybe less. It was a very small venue. It was very intimate. I was staying like maybe met from her and uh, she threw, uh, she blinked at me and she threw her kisses at me. So, yeah, 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 yeah. someone said it's a stage thing. Yeah, exactly. She, she you know, it's a normal thing. Uh, yeah, so I think she flirts with, uh, with her audience and she likes it and, and enjoys it. And I'm sure her, her audience enjoys this uh, as well. And, you know, they appreciate those uh, those gestures uh, those gestures sorry my english uh, they appreciate when she does the small things because uh, you know who wouldn't be uh, like to notice by lp i know i i always like when she's she sees me in the crowd and when she uh, either blinks or blows a kiss or you know even says uh, she cannot say hello, but when she, you know, just waves at me. So it's always a, a validation. Yeah, she noticed me. She knows I'm here. So, yeah, I think everyone enjoys this very much. And I think she... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Olga, <laughs> you like to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, check Olga's comments. Uh, yeah, so I think she enjoys it and her audience definitely enjoys this uh, as well. Uh, okay, someone asked me if I am happy in my relationship with Lauren. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea that I am in a relationship in lo with Lauren. Mm. I think she meant it for LP. But uh, from what I know, LP is very happy with Lauren and Lauren is very happy with, uh, with LP. And, you know, they, uh, having met uh, them both, uh, and I was able to speak about to Lauren and to LP. They are very different person. They have very different personalities. They are, you know, like a moon and a sun. They are just two contradictions, but they blend each other. They mix each other very, uh, very well. They are just, you know, they are working really good. They and even Lauren said this. Um, in one of her chats late, lately, uh, one of her latest chats, uh, she said that, uh, you know, it can be really hard for them because uh, if she's not touring, then LP is touring. If uh, they are not touring, they are working. Uh, they have a lot of commitments, but uh, when they are together, like right now, uh, they always uh, remember why they work so well together and uh, why they're 
they love each other. So yeah, I think they are very happy with each other. And again, about the wedding, uh, Lauren, because someone I saw uh, at uh, some fans took uh, words of Lauren out of context. She is not planning a wedding. She was joking that, you know, in this quarantine, she could, uh, yeah, yin and yang. LP is, uh, and Lauren they are like yin and yang to themselves. Yeah, great. Uh, great comparison. Uh, so, uh, Jesus, I forgot again what I was saying. Ah, Lauren was uh, joking about the wedding that they could uh, plan a wedding in this quarantine, but you know, they really can't plan a wedding because uh, you cannot go anywhere uh, and to uh, to check any place. So yeah, and uh, she also mentioned that. Uh, they even don't know how their place would like to uh, look, where would they would like to uh, wet. So uh, once they will know the place, then they could, you know, uh, start planning the wedding around this place. She only said that uh, she, of course, because she has this designer uh, mind of her, uh, she, of course, knows what she would like to wear, but, uh, you know, they are not planning it yet because, you know, it simply, it was impossible because first LP was in the, um, was touring very heavily, then Lauren started to blow up uh, in the America and in Europe, uh, and now this quarantine happens, so, uh, you know, when it happens, it will happen, but uh, it's not happening, uh, uh, at least not yet. Uh, okay, <clears throat> next question, mm, sorry, let me check here, mm, how bad is the virus where I am? I live in Poland, I live in the south of Poland, uh, you know, I haven't checked today how many cases were, uh, I think we are now at 7,000 in a month. But the problem uh, uh, with our country, we don't do uh, as many um, tests as we should do, uh, be doing. So um, I think this uh, this number is a lot lower than it's... Uh, it's Sorry, I think our numbers are a lot higher than they are showing. And uh, so, yeah, I, I really I'm, I'm not sure how long this will go. And I don't know. I was thinking about summer tour and if she uh, LP will be able to come to Europe. But, you know, we don't live in China. We don't live in Korea. Those are very uh, strict countries. Uh, so, yeah, they put army there, they put those restrictions and people were, you know, obeying those restrictions. So when, when it comes to Europe, uh, people are, you know, we are much less, uh, sorry, we are much more uh, easygoing. We, I know many people are, you know, just uh, ignore those uh, uh, orders and, you know, they should be staying at home, but that they are not doing it. So, uh, I don't think we will contain the situation as hap as uh, fast as they did this in China or in, or in Korea. Uh, so yeah, I think it will take a lot longer to you know to to work on this. So yeah, that's so again. I, I really don't know how many cases I I am you know I am lucky because I can work from home. I don't. I only go out when I have to, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I mostly feel safe. I'm sometimes overthinking the situation, but I try not to uh, to read the news. I only read the news once, twice, uh, you know, few a few times in a week, and just, you know, I try to block uh, everything. So yeah, I don't want to talk more about virus. I think uh, we have been talking about virus uh, too much. There's virus everywhere and I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Mm. Next question is where and was first venue for LP when she started to perform? You know, I, I have no idea. I know that she started to perform in New York. It was uh, the first place where she started to perform. And I think, uh, you know, she even did this uh, this shout out to that place. It's called Henrietta, Henrietta Bar. And I, I think it was possibly it was uh, the first place where LP could uh, show her and her music. So, yeah, I think that was the first venue for LP. But uh, I cannot say this with 100 percent certainty. Again, who does LP's hair? Mm, now I know Lauren cuts uh, LP's hair and styles uh, her hair, but 
LP joked uh, in earlier uh, in earlier interviews when she didn't knew Lauren back then that she cut her uh, herself. You know she uh, because usually she joked that when she went to a hairdresser she always looked like. Uh, she didn't like how it turned out, so she cut her hair by herself. And when she met Lauren, and Lauren is a great hairdresser, uh, she allows uh, to do this. Uh, so yeah, so Lauren cuts her hair and styles her hair. And so yeah, I think now it's only Lauren, mostly. It's job for Lauren. Mm. Uh, also, Dasha from Moscow asked me about LP style. Uh, what it is that uh, LP likes those t-shirts. Uh, you know, uh, I think if you will go to my blog uh, and there is this uh, page where I talk about LP style. I wrote there very uh, in detail about LP style. I know that uh, LP's first um, first girlfriend uh, she was in uh, uh, in a fashion business and I know that she uh, sort of uh, put LP in the right direction L LP always were uh, was intricate uh, by uh, androgyny and this you know femini femininity m meets uh, masculine style so she always was playing with do those styles but uh, you know, androgyny is a thing for her and I think she, you know, prefers that kind of style and I know that her first girlfriend, you know, pushed her in the right direction and uh, she went from there, sort of, and she went... You know, she just found herself. She feels uh, most comfortable in those kind of clothes and also she oh, she's... Uh, because she gets uh, asked about this a uh, few times, uh, sorry, many times she was asked about this, about her style. And she often jokes that, you know, she likes to be uh, feel comfortable, but uh, she also wants to look, uh, you know, like uh, comfortable, but... Um, in a way elegant. So she likes those, you know, uh, t-shirts that are often old and, uh, and you know, uh, messy, but she keeps a jacket uh, that is sharp, tailored, and yeah, so, and of course uh, her trademark sunglasses, because, uh, and her in her face, because she often jokes that it is her shield from her words, that she cannot, you know, give herself to the entire world and that's how she uh, you know keeps that, pri uh, that privacy and she keeps you know that uh, that bit of her soul uh, before the audience so yeah I think uh, but if you'd like to uh, know more about LP style you know uh, go again go to my blog and you will uh, learn there more from that um, article I did. Mm. Do I know if LP believes in God and if she professes any religion? Again, uh, in 2012 she did an interview for After Ellen and she said that she is not an organized or religious person. She... Is... I, I know she believes in God, in some kind of, you know, higher power, but uh, she doesn't put, uh, you know, she doesn't say that it's, uh, she is Catholic or, you know, I don't know. You know, there are different types of religion. She doesn't convey, uh, she doesn't uh, professes any re specific kind of uh, religion. She, she tr believes in God, but it's more like, you know, this, she's more like a spiritual person. It's, uh, and you know, this, uh, that person, I think it's Cindy, also asked me if I believe in God. And I think I, it's similar to me like it is to LP. We are both very, um, at least I think, I cannot say this for certain, but to me, we are both very spiritual person. So we believe that there is a higher power. We believe that there is definitely, you know, so, something, there is something out there. Uh, but uh, I was raised in a Catholic uh, 
um, in a Catholic uh, religion. But when you grow older, when you start to, you know, read, uh, read different things, when you start uh, to talk to other people, when you see how priests behave, uh, when you see how certain Catholic people behave, uh, you just, you know, started to question if, if this is, you know, if, you know, religion is, again, very complicated uh, matter, very complicated uh, subject and topic because, uh, because of religion, you know, people fought wars, people, you know, tried many, they did many bad things to other people. Uh, so, yeah, uh, to me, it's always, you know, do good and be good and, you know, uh, just believe in what you want to believe. Just uh, don't force yourself on on any uh, on any other person you know everyone should choose uh, in their own way and in their own um, manner what they should uh, like to believe yeah it is very private pers uh, it is a very private uh, thing to answer so he, but i think you understand what i mean you know I believe in this higher power. I believe there is something else, but I don't. Uh, I cannot say that I I am a Catholic person, uh, because I I'm not sure if I agree with everything that uh, this uh, religion. Uh, you know, there are certain aspects that I that I agree with, but uh, again, when I see what is happening in our country and uh, what we are doing to um, to people. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would like to be this sort of a Catholic person. So, you know, I think the closest to my heart it would be a Buddhism, I think. At least to me. So, yeah, you know, it's more in that spiritual level. Mm, again, next question. Mm. Is there any singer that LP would like to sing a duet? I'm sure there are some singers, but you know, LP, she often changes. Uh, I think it was Bruno Mars. She wanted to work with Bruno Mars and she often uh, mentioned him uh, in the interviews. I think it's, uh, you know, it depends. Uh, I think, uh, I know LP was very eager to work with Adam Lambert and I think this will be happening so, uh, so maybe uh, we will hear something with Adam Lambert and LP, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, next, I, I've received many questions. I'm not sure if I will be able to answer all of them. I'm not, uh, does anyone know what's the time? Ah, okay, I'm already speaking like about half an hour. Uh, if I could, Lara ask me, if I could change one thing in this crazy world of ours, what would you change? Yeah, Jesus, so many things. <laughs> I, I don't think I, if I could choose only one thing. But maybe if more people would be kind to each other, there, there, there wouldn't be so much evil in the world. So yeah, maybe that kindness. So everyone would be kind to each other, to animals, to, to our uh, to nature, to earth, yeah, so I think this, because from there we could start and, you know, change other things, so I think that I would like to change. Mm, uh, Lara also asked me if I come from a large family. Uh, it depends how you look at it. I have a uh, younger sister and brother, I am the eldest of three. Uh, mm, so, you know, I have two siblings. I don't know, it's in Poland, it's considered as a larger family, but uh, we are not that close. We are not that uh, tight group of people. We, uh, I have a very uh, complicated, re uh, complicated relationship with my family. So, uh, yeah, I, I'd leave it li uh, like that. But yes, I have a, a younger sister and brother, and I'm the eldest of the three. Uh, what is my t 
most cherished uh, time in my childhood. Uh, you know, we, we used to go to we used to go to this place in the north of Poland uh, to this village, and we used to spend summer uh, vacations for like I think ten years. Every year we went there and just you know we were very carefree. We were yeah, it was the best time in my life. I think. At least from my childhood, that's my uh, fondest memory. <clears throat> yeah, but again, it, I would have to, you know, uh, talk more about it. And I don't think if we have enough time for this, so maybe some other time. Um, but yeah, but those vacations in this village uh, with my close friends, uh, you know, those first, uh, first kisses, first uh, loves, first, uh, yeah, it was nice time and I'm very fond of those memories. Mm. What is my favorite food? I've mentioned this before. I love pasta, I love pizza. I think those are my two favorite food uh, dishes. Sorry, dishes. Mm. Which song of LP do I keep close to my heart and why? <sighs> Again, Jesus, so many songs. It's it's very hard to choose. I, you know, I keep bugging LP about it's all good. Uh, I've said uh, she sang it in Budapest. No, it, she did. It. Sorry, I've made a mistake. She made, she sang it in uh, Bucharest. Yes, it was Bucharest in 2016. And yeah, I would love to hear the song. Uh, you know, I keep many uh, songs uh, close to my heart, um, but many of those songs, uh, thankfully, we can listen uh, today. But uh, yeah, It's All Good is a song that uh, I would love if other people could uh, could listen to it uh, as well, because, you know, like I wrote to LP, I, I, I believe in this song and maybe one day uh, she will do a proper studio version of the song of the song and i think you will love it as much as i i love this um, song um, olga about your question uh, if i have seen some clumsiest pics of lp i will try to answer this uh, maybe in my insta stories because uh, you know i have so many photos photos of lp that i couldn't you know just sort through all of them so yeah i think i will uh, I will try to look um, for some pics, uh, but you know, even just uh, right now thinking about LP and her pictures, you know, it's very hard to find. It would be very uh, hard to find uh, a bad picture of her because even sh if she makes a funny face, she she's so charismatic. She camera just loves her. So yeah, I think you know, even if the pic isn't th that much perfect, she still makes it work. So yeah, I think it will be very hard for me to find a pic uh, that I don't like uh, that I don't know that doesn't work for LP. So yeah, I think. But I will try to look for at least one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she is way too photogenic. Yeah, she is. Uh, She's amazing, you know, she, uh, camera loves her and uh, either it's a video camera because even in in her video, video clips or uh, in interviews or in on, photogra uh, on photographs, she always looks great uh, no matter what, so yeah. Uh, and I, you know what I love about LP, that she can, you know, just, sorry, my lamp, uh, just, you know, do her hair. Yeah, I look great now. See, I have to put my makeup. I have to, you know, polish myself. And she just, you know, uh, do does her hair, and that's all. And she can go put her sunglasses, and she looks cool. Uh, and she doesn't care <laughs> about anything in the world. And you know, camera just loves her. So yeah. Mm. Uh, again. Lara asked me if I am an animal lover and do I have a pet in home? Uh, you know, again, this is a question uh, that would require a very long answer. Uh, uh, right now, I have fishes, small fishes. I will show that's why I'm sitting in a different place. Let me show you. Yeah, and this is my tank and my fishes. Uh, and it's a long story about those fishes. Uh, you know, 
I love animals. I've said this in my earlier chat that uh, animals are very close to my heart and uh, I've always had an animal since, since a very little girl. I think my first animal was hamster, then I had a parrot for many years. Uh, then one day when we were at that village uh, where we were going to vacation, uh, one day, one evening, we just heard this cry, this loud cry. And, uh, you know, I thought it's a rat. I didn't know what it was because it was very wet and it was crying very loudly and it was very tiny. And when I came closer, it, I, at first I thought it's a rat, but then when I came closer, it turned out to be a, a tiny kitten. And, uh, you know, I took him to, to the house, I washed him, I fed him, and at first my mom was like, you know, you can't keep him uh, in, the, in this house, you, you have to uh, keep him somewhere else, he, you don't know if he carries any diseases and so on. But uh, you know what, at night, I, I think I was 19, um, uh, when my mom went to sleep, I, of course I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and I went to, that, to get that cat and I put it back to home with me, to my bed. And we, you know, from that moment we were inseparable for, I think, for 14 years. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, he was my best friend, I can say this. Uh, you know, he, he knew me very well. He, he could cheer me up. He was, uh, he was very close to my heart and we've been inseparable for 14 years. And when he, uh, he got sick suddenly and we fought for, I think, six months. But uh, yeah, I've been with him in his final moments. He, uh, he died in my arms, so yeah, it's, it was very, very hard for me, and I was, I, I didn't want to have another pet. You know, my heart broke when, when he died, but my father, because I've mentioned this before, my father is, uh, is a vicious breeder. Uh, uh, we have uh, the stangs, these aquariums in our apartment uh, and uh, my father often visits this apartment. So when he was coming to visit me, he said that it's uh, this, you know, this, because you feel this emptiness after you lose your pet. And uh, so, yeah, he said that it's, and he couldn't look at me and my, you know, suffering. So. Uh, he just put me in, you know, he just said, you will g get a cat from me. So, yeah, I, I, I've received another cat from my father as a gift. Mm, it was a girl this time. She was a Siamese cat and I've had her for, for seven years. And again, you know, we've been inseparable. I, at first I was very uh, reluctant to love her, but, you know, I... Uh, she found a way to my heart. She find, found a way to my heart, and I again. I, she was like a, a kid to me because you know, uh, I don't have a kids on my own. She was like a kid to me. I've yeah. So uh, mm. but after seven years, suddenly she she again got very sick. I don't know what happened and why this happened. She started to get the seizures and. Uh, we fought for three months or four months. It was a very difficult time. And when she died, um, uh, this time my father said that she, that he won't be buying me any any more pets because when she saw me and how much I was grieving after her, her death, uh, she, he decided that yeah. And you know I I. I still have her toys, I still have those play, uh, things for cat and I would love to have another cat because I'm a cat person and I love cats and I would love to have another cat but uh, uh, it was so hard for me, uh, you know, I was, after I lost uh, both first cat and then the second cat, I was, you know, stricken with such anxiety and depression that uh, it was very hard for me to, you know, to overcome those feelings and to, you know, to, to get back to, to my, to normality, to my regular life. Uh, so yeah, we, I've decided to not get another cat 
you know, I've decided to wait and to see what happens. Maybe, maybe one day a cat will find, uh, will find a way to my heart. But for now, I'm. I was missing a, a pet, and I wanted to have a pet, and uh, so yeah, the story. Uh, am I boring you or not? <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not boring you. But uh, you know, the story with my, with my fishes is. Uh, I was thinking about what pet, uh, what kind of pet do I want, and I knew I cannot have a pet that will uh, require uh, going to the vet and you know uh, worrying about this pet because uh, I know myself, I know how my brain works, and uh, yeah, so I've decided that I need something that you know that if something happens, it happens, and I know that I cannot uh, you know prevent this from happening. Uh, because uh, you know when my both cats were very sick i jesus it was so hard time for me i've spent so many uh, hours uh, you know worrying crying and going to the vets and you know thinking what to do searching for alternative methods what how to help them and you know the uh, the result was always the same and i couldn't save them so yeah it was very hard for me and uh, I often help my father with the fishes. Uh, so yeah, I'm finishing my story now. Uh, I often help my father with the fishes uh, because you know we have those aquariums. Those, those I can, I think, proper word is tank because those are those are huge uh, tanks uh, where uh, we can, we keep many fishes. And my father uh, have also uh, has also small tanks. Uh, where he put this uh, fishes, you know, sometimes even in, you know, in a world of animals, uh, sometimes uh, an animal is, you know, disabled. Uh, uh, they have some kind of disabilities. So uh, <laughs> he, uh, when he was uh, counting the fishes, when he was, you know, breeding them, uh, all those fishes that he knew he wouldn't be able to sell, because they have some sort of disabili disability, uh, he put them in the smaller tank. And uh, this tank was dirty, he didn't care much about them, he, you know, he just put those fishes there because he didn't want to, you know, to get rid of those. But he didn't took care uh, of them. So uh, when I started to help my father with, uh, with his fishes and with his animals, uh, I've started to, mm, taking care of those fishes with disabilities. And uh, yeah, so it grew from there. Uh, you know, it's a funny story because uh, they were in, uh, in a room where my father is keeping those animals, those tanks. Uh, but uh, I found myself, you know, checking, the, uh, going to that room, checking if they are okay, if they have enough food, if uh, I bought them some plants, I've put, uh, cleaned that uh, tank, I've, you know, I've started to, you know, taking care of those fishes. And finally, uh, when I was thinking, if, I can move along and if I can, you know, invest me, myself again in some kind of, uh, and to have a pet of my own, I decided, you know, to, to give those fishes <laughs> uh, a better home. And that's why I bought this, this tank and that's why I moved, uh, moved on those fishes uh, to my room and now I have pet fishes. <laughs> mm, so yeah, that's, that's the story of me and my fishes. Mm. Someone ask, could you see with LP the clubs could receive the gift? Uh, I don't understand. Can you uh, uh, explain your question? LP Belgium, team official, because I'm not sure if I understand. Mm. Jesus, again, I've done something to my computer. <clears throat> so yeah, but to answer shortly, I'm a huge animal lover. I love animals. I yeah, I have a huge heart uh, for animals. Yeah, I'm a huge animal lover. Mm, 
a Peruvian fan asked me how I get in touch with LP about uh, how my first interview with LP happened. Uh, you know, it's a funny story. It's It was so unexpected and so incredible because uh, I first met LP in 2017 in January when she came with a visit to Poland. Uh, she was doing this acoustic concert in Trójka uh, where you could uh, win a chance to, you know, go and see her. But I didn't win uh, those tickets. Uh, but I traveled to Warsaw anyway because she was doing this uh, mu fun meeting at uh, Empik, the store, uh, music, music store. So that's when I first saw LP and, uh, you know, after that meeting, I just knew that, you know, she is... that she is the right person, that I really wanted, uh, you know, to promote her and her music because uh, in 2016 when I found LP, when you type LP into Google, you just found nothing. Mm, you found long play or, you know, there was very little information about LP. So yeah, I, I've started uh, this uh, working on my blog and I've started t t to write my blog and um, LP noticed me first on Twitter because she was then, back then, she was very active on Twitter. <clears throat> and uh, when I then went to her concert in Oświęcim, it was my first concert, uh, and we again we could s uh, we saw each other, but sh you know this uh, meeting happened very fast. I didn't even say my name. I haven't said anything. I just said hello, and we took a picture, and that was all. And so when in when London happened afterwards, shortly afterwards. Uh, when I said that it's me, I do the blog, and she real, uh, realized that it's me, um, she remembered me and my face. And um, after London, I think it was a week before uh, Ostrava, I thought about, you know, I came with this wild idea to... Uh, um, why did she stop with Twitter? I don't know, Olga, I think it's, you know, it's... Maybe I will try to get back to this later, but I don't know how much time we have. Uh, I think we have less than f five minutes. Uh, anyway, uh, I lost my... What am I... What, what I was saying? Ah, uh, okay. After London, uh, I came with this wild idea if I could... Uh, because I decided, after London, I decided to go to Ostrava, to uh, to Prague, uh, sorry, to Czech, uh, to Czech Republic uh, for this festival. And then I already have uh, a mail to her assistant, I think. And I wrote an email to them uh, asking if I could, uh, if I could do uh, an interview with LP. Uh, it was after London, and it was like a week before Ostrava. Uh, and I received an email very quickly that, uh, you know, uh, LP is very busy in Ostrava, that she won't be able to do this interview with me, but uh, I can, like, prepare five to six questions, send them over, and they will uh, provide, uh, and LP will answer, you know, uh, those questions in writing. And. And so I prepared my questions, I sent them in, a, in an email, and that was it. I didn't think much about it. I, I just, you know, I haven't been thinking about this anymore. And I even wrote to them that uh, there's no hurry, I don't want LP to hurry, there's a lot, uh, enough time that I will be uh, writing about this interview uh, after the tour finishes, and so she don't, that she didn't have to hurry with those questions. So yeah, uh, when I came to Ostrava, uh, I arrived by train to Ostrava and, uh, you know, I first was interviewed, LP did this interview for, uh, for her fans uh, and then I remember I was, uh, we already was waiting for a concert for LP and I I've asked my friend uh, if she could uh, take a, a picture of me and uh, I've posted this picture to Instagram 
and uh, that I am here, that he, hi LP, LP blog is here. Uh, and that was it. It was just my picture on Instagram and believe it or not, LP saw this picture, she liked this picture and <laughs> shortly afterwards, thank God I had uh, internet <laughs> connection because I received an uh, email from LP's assistant and they, uh, uh, they said that LP would love to uh, would love for, uh, Jesus, I'm lacking words. You know, she invited me backstage. She said that uh, LP, uh, if, I'm, if, if it's okay with me, uh, that LP would love to see me uh, and to talk to me. And uh, if I'm ready, we can also do this interview. So that's how this happened. And uh, so, yeah, you know, it's only because of kindness of LP, nothing else. Uh, because, you know, when I was going to Ostrava, I was uh, thinking that this interview will happen only in writing and we won't be able to see each other. But when LP saw me in the crowd and when she, uh, mm, you know, it was because of her. It only happened because of her. And I, uh, I always keep saying this. That's why I, that's why I, I have so much heart for her and for LP because you know she, she gave so much of herself. I know that you know. Uh, we are now living in different times. She is a lot bigger. She has bigger management. It's different now a little bit, but she still, I know that she cares for her fans and I know she tries as hard as possible. And I know she would like to, you know, please everyone, but it's not possible. And um, yeah, trust me, I, when I received that email, when I read this email and when I saw those letters, I, I, I was, you know, my friend saw me because she saw me in that moment and she said, if something happened, am I feeling okay? If, if what happened to me? And when I saw her, uh, when I showed her that email, she was, oh, wow. So yeah, that, you know, I, if not LP, if not her, uh, if not her kindness, uh, it, it would never happen. So yeah, that's why I, uh, LP has such a huge, uh, she made such a huge mark on my heart. So that's how this first interview happened. And you know, then um, LP started also, uh, I don't want to give uh, too much. You know, uh, I'm a private person. I, I want some uh, things keep private. And let's just say that from now on, from that time on, uh, yeah, uh, I was able, you, you know, to, Ah, let's just leave it at, at that. Uh, yeah, but th that's how I uh, my first interview happened. Uh, LP invited me and wanted to, to see me and she wanted to have a chat. And, uh, you know, I was so lucky that this interview took place after the concert and it was still very early on and she was so relaxed. She was so happy. She was so pumped. She was so uh, full of energy. Uh, that's why this interview was like a talk with a friend so yeah I'm very very happy how this turned on uh, how this happened um, I have to check uh, an hour sorry on my in I forgot to put a watch on my hand um, okay I think I will have to finish I've received so many questions and I'm already talking about an hour uh, and I won't be able to answer them all but uh, I will keep them I have also keep, uh, I will also keep the questions that some of you uh, sent me earlier, but I wasn't able to answer all of them. So, uh, you know, next Wednesday, I will do this again for you. Uh, I hope that you like this chats, that you can take something from those chats and that you enjoy them as much as, uh, as I am enjoying, you know, sharing those memories uh, with you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for you all and that you, you know, even when I see 40 people like you, I it just blows my mind that many, so many of you, you know, just come to me and listen to me. And uh, I wish I was uh, better spoken with my English uh, and I wish I would be more fluent and I could uh, say more and better. But, you know, I'm working on it and uh, yeah, 
I hope it will, you know, also be easier w uh, for me with time. Oh, and I wanted to say, uh, I don't know if I will finish. It will cut me off. It will cut me off. Uh, or maybe no, I will leave this for another time. Because I wanted to say, uh, to answer on Alex's questions about jewelry, but uh, I even prepared myself for this question, but I don't think I will have enough time. And I want to, you know, I'm... You know, I'm the biggest critic and I'm always, um, I would love everything to be perfect and it, it cannot be perfect, you cannot please everyone, but, uh, but you know, having you and uh, having this platform and to, you know, to talk to you, it's great. So thanks again and I hope I will see you again soon, next Wednesday and I will do, uh, I will answer on the rest of your questions. So. Uh, thank you and bye-bye. Take care.